Hi everyone, it's Anne from Anne Makes. How are you? Uh, welcome into my studio. Thank you so very much for stopping by. If you are new here, please uh, subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button below. And you can also click on the Anne Makes in the corner there of the screen. Please uh, double check your subscriptions to your favorite YouTube channels to make sure that you are subscribed and that you've clicked on the bell at the end of that subscription line uh, where you're subscribed to like my channel and your favorite YouTubers. You have to go and click on the bell to say, yes, I want to be notified when my favorite YouTuber posts a new video. And that's how you can be notified when my new videos come out as well as all your other uh, friendly YouTubers. So today I have a Dollarama haul. Uh, it's not very impressive with the craft stuff. I find lately there's not much new at uh, Dollarama, but I did see a few things that were, were kind of interesting and I got them. And I did get some old standbys for some projects and I bought a lot of like treats and candies for my boys so that's put away and some stuff for the car like cleaning the car and all that so but I'm not showing you that because it's not really crafty it's kind of boring <laughs> and toothpaste okay so uh, on to the fun stuff I did haul the and Please forgive me if I'm showing you something that I've already shown in another haul. I have some stuff on my counter here and I think I forgot to show it. Uh, so I'm, I, but I can't remember if I did or didn't. So, okay, maybe I did show it if I did, sorry. Um, the mini pom-pom sets, there's 300 pieces in here with beautiful bright colors. I got this one. It's a dollar twenty-five. Like I said, three hundred pieces in this set of colors and in this one. Move the camera back a little bit. I'm a little too close. So uh, yeah, I got those. They're fun. Uh, this is new. I've seen it. I got it a few weeks ago, actually. This is I can make earrings cousins set, and there's a hundred and eight pieces. I have a feeling I did tell you about this, and I, I, I'm sorry if I did, but uh, yeah, this was $4, and with two pairs of pliers and everything that you need. So uh, those were the items that I'm not sure that I told you about. <sighs> anyway, it's one, of, it's one of those weeks. Okay, so today I did buy the Crafts Tie-Dye Kit. Uh, it says it comes in purple, red, and fuchsia. So you get the, the supplies to do some tie dyeing. Basically, three bottles with the powdered dye inside, and of course, you add water to make the dye mix. And um, it is four dollars for the set of three bottles. And you know, all the instructions at the back seems to have so this tie dye kit four dollars has the uh, powdered dye the bottles to mix elastic bands to do tie dye effects and i would have to say those are probably the gloves the plastic gloves so that is that is new at my dollarama another new craft item at dollarama my dollarama uh again by cousin uh, jewelry findings in this like half moon or half circle shape and this is what you get in there and this was I want to say three dollars or three fifty and it includes uh, oh there's quite a bit of stuff in here it doesn't like when I was looking at it like this these are empty but there's a little bit of this, a little bit of that. So there's like lots of little findings in there. Uh, I'm sure like if I had to pay this full price in a craft store, uh, yeah, I would feel gypped. But for $3.50, $3, it was between 3 and $4. I just don't remember now which one it was. Uh, you get all of this and you're supposed to get 12 
one and a half inch gold head pins, 12 one and a half inch gold eye pins, 15 uh, five millimeter gold jump rings, 18 inches of gold chain, one set of gold heart toggle, one set of gold rope toggles. Uh, oh, there's a lot of stuff. Four six millimeter gold ring, gold spring rings. 20 gold crimping beads, 12 gold fish hooks. So, you know, you get an, an, an assortment for like beginner jewelry maker type of thing. And then you have this nifty box to, for after for storing more stuff. I picked up a package of bows. I hadn't seen the red and white polka dot ones in a while at uh, my Dollarama. So when I saw these, oh, I really like these ones. So I got a package and they're $1.25 for 18 little bows. This is one of the th those things that keeps coming back to Dollarama. And I I'm glad that they have some staples like that, that, that come back and come back. So uh, it's fun for our craft. You know, it's a very classic thing to use in our crafting. Something that I bought in the, that it's my craft, my store has the craft and like the hardware stuff in the same aisle. They're just one across from the other. It's a very long aisle. So I got some of these Duramax uh, multi-purpose ties. They're basically like they're Velcro ties at the end and they're great for wrapping like here these are like cables that are wrapped up. And there's so many uses for these. I yeah for cables uh and lots of stuff that we have to wrangle in the garage and shed and the car so these are red so they come in red and black and they're in a 12 pack for two dollars so i got some of that and i'll i'll use some of those in my craft room and i'll use some a lot in everywhere else in my house so it's you know it it's a product that gets around um I picked up this package of mailing labels, 30 sheets, it says. No, you get 30, 30 labels per sheet, so sorry, for a total of 360 labels. Um, so you probably get 12 sheets, I guess. And yeah, so, and it says it goes on your inkjet printer. And I thought I would get these for, um, a mixed media thing that I've done in the past and I thought I would do again if you're interested in seeing what I do sometimes with these labels uh, let me know so these are a dollar fifty they're very inexpensive and I haven't tried them in the printer but I imagine they work if you have tried them and they don't work or you know they work really well please let me know I picked up some more laminating sheets uh, because I've been like all all week I've been organizing I've been cataloging my entire stamp collection it's a very long process because I have a, a lot of stamps and I've used a lot of plastic sheets and whatever anyway so I picked up these laminating sheets and I wanted to compare these I got the swing line package where you get five sheets that are three milli mils each and the package is four dollars versus the studio brand where this one says it's a glossy finish and you get three for two fifty two fifty or two twenty five two fifty so I got both really because I will use them no matter no matter what happens but I wanted to compare them side by side to see what if I have one that I prefer over the other uh, and, and then really to figure out what's the best value for what uh, you know my use for these would be and so here I've got the swing line one okay and these are self-adhesive laminating sheets. No machine needed for both of them. So, okay, let's see. So the Studio brand, what can I say? Studio brand opens like, like this, like a book. Okay, it is eight and a half by 11. You, do, you stick your sheet in there, okay. And the swing line is a flip 
flip up, I guess. That's what I want to call it. <laughs> and yeah, so actually you can't, oh, it's, yeah, I can't take them apart because the sticky will be exposed. This one, yeah, okay. So this one just goes the other way. And I have to say they, I'm thinking that the Studio brand might be thicker, actually. The Studio brand seems to be thicker than the Swing Line. So I'm just comparing them side by side. I know I've used both these of these for actually um, laminating, and they've been fine. So, and although they say you don't need a machine, I I use them in my machine just because I can, and they work great in the machine. So, I don't know. It's funny. I haven't I haven't called it yet, but right now the Studio one feels thicker than the Swing Line. So I'll have to calculate. So three for two fifty versus five for four dollars. Okay. The brain is not doing the math right now. Another plasticky thing I picked up was this uh, an expanding folder. Now I already have one of these in my my stash, and I use it for stuff already. But when I was at the store and I saw this, I had an aha moment. And since I've been organizing my stamp collection, I noticed that a lot of my stamp sets didn't have a sheet for my cling stamps to cling on, a piece of cling sheet. And when I was in Dollarama and I saw this class, and what I've, no, sorry, can I go back there? Let's rewind a bit. So in the organization of my stamps, some of my stamp sets, the ones that are either clear acrylic or the cling type of stamps, uh, were in need of a like plastic sheet to stick to so I could store them properly. And I've been, I used uh, pieces of packaging, like for example, this is what I do. Something like this, the earring set, I will keep this nice big piece of plastic here, uh, plastic here, because it's great for storing, sticking my stamps on for storage. And you know, with this, I get a nice big flat piece. And on this side, well, I would cut off this flat piece and this would give me a nice piece as well. So I, I've done that with my stamps and I've used a lot of my uh, garbage plastic for that. But when I was at Dollarama and I saw this folder and I thought, wow, I could get, basically I get one, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I get eight sheets of plastic that I can use if I cut this, I just have to cut this apart, and I have eight sheets of plastic that I can use just for storing my flat stamps. And that cost me a dollar twenty-five. And I know that I have to pay more than that for the the ones that are sold especially for our cling stamps. So I thought, hmm, this might be a cheaper alternative. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna try that. And I just wanted to share that with you in case you are in need of plastic for your own stamps. So what else did I find? In the office supplies, I found these envelopes. They are called a career builder from careerbuilder.com. They are black, five count, heavyweight, nine by 11 and a half inch envelopes. And they, they, I think they call them, yeah, resume envelopes. So uh, I thought, wow, these are nice. So I, I got them as a, well, it is a nice way to present documents to someone instead of, you know, a yellow envelope. And so I thought that would be good. Oh, and I damaged it. Well, this one won't be good for presentation. I think that was me. So, yeah. Oh, two of them are busted. Man, they weren't busted in the store, so I don't know what I did with them. 
So these will be repurposed in the craft room for something. These will be kept for my boys if they need them uh, for, you know, job applications and whatnot. Great. So, yeah. They weren't like this in the store. This is my fault. So, uh, yeah, I got these packages of big black envelopes. Okay. So, what else did I pick up? I've been using a ton of sheet protectors. So, so if you can see, there's a box back there. Uh, it's gone so down. So, I just picked up an extra package, uh, 50 of them for $3.00. Not really sure it's the best deal I could get, but it was faster than going to Staples and, you know, and getting the other ones that I usually buy. So, yeah, I got this. I got another package of the Collector's Album Refill Packs, the baseball cards, and all. <clears throat> these are also used for pocket letters, but I am using these for organizing my uh, catalog right now. And... A new napkin. There was only one style that I had that was new. Uh, and it had these pretty blue, I think these are like phlox flowers. Is that what the name is? Anyway, so I thought these were very pretty to add to my stash of napkins for my collage. And they had some more of the linen card stock, which comes in an 18 pack. It is... 20.8 by 14.5 centimeters. I'm sorry, there's no imperial measurements on here, so I can't. I can only give you the metric one. These are really nice quality, and I find that these are great for making a quick card. They fold. You know, you just have to score them in the center, fold them in half, and bingo, you've got a you've got a card base. So I thought that's one thing that they are really handy to have in your stash. And also, uh, sometimes I need, I use a lot of white cardstock, and I just, you know, I don't want to cut a big sheet, so this is already done for me. So 18 sheets for $2, so I got some of the white, and I also got some of the colored that they had. They have this set, which is a little bit, well, this is a mixed set, so the colors are a little brighter, I think, and this one, the colors are a little more pale. So, yeah, I got that. So there's different colors in here. So in this Bombi Makers kit, which was $4, you get a square wood photo kit. So basically, you have everything in here to enable you to make a similar project. Um, and I'll show you inside it. There is an 8 by 8 inch by 3 quarters of an inch thick uh, wooden frame. And there is also some decoupage medium or collage medium. And there are stickers. So here's the 8 by 8 inch frame that is uh, 3 quarters of an inch deep. There is the collage medium. And sorry about the noise. I know the camera on the iPhone picks up all the noise and it sounds worse at your end. There is a bag with two sheets of gold leaf inside. So if you want to do like suggested by the project instructions to uh, add gold leaf to the frame, you may. And there are these gold foil stickers that you can use to decorate your project. And of course the project here the idea is that you would print out a photograph and you would decorate the frame, decorate the photograph, and this would be the gift that you could make for a loved one. So, but of course, uh, you are free to do whatever you want with the supplies, and personally, I think it's a good price to pay for these supplies. I know that a frame similar to this in an art supply store is way more than $4. So, uh, yeah, I wanted to share that with you. So another thing that I bought at Dollarama, it's not a crafty find, but it is a lot of fun. It's a set of toys for Kitty. Here, uh, the Pet Store brand, five pieces of these cat toys. So Kitty will have three fuzzy wuzzy uh, spring things to play with and two bouncy uh, feathery 
toys here to play with and these were two dollars and fifty cents so that is what I got uh, somewhat crafty but depending on what you do with this it is more it may seem like more of an office supply to some but to others it's a crafty item so this is navy and saffron fashion patterns stylish sticky notes you get 400 decorated sticky notes in assorted sizes this is what they look like on the inside. They're very pretty. I find, I find they're really classic looking. And this kit is $4. It is a crown print graphics brand. Um, and I've hauled other crown print graphics uh, st sticky note sets before. I did not have this one, so I picked it up. And I also got a package of the rhinestone mesh. Uh, this is not new, but it had been gone from the Dollarama for a while, and I wanted some more of the pink. And this is a sheet that is about, I believe, um, four point seven inches by seventy one inches long. So there's quite a lot of material in here for two dollars. So I think that's a good deal. And it's a pretty pink. And I also was out of packaging tape, so I picked up this packet tape that comes with the that comes with this handy dandy little distributor with the little cutting edge. It's a small roll, but it'll do for what I need to use this for and I like that it's very clear that's what was most important to me and you get 82 feet in here or 25 meters for a dollar fifty so bas uh, basically what I like to do with this is small laminating projects and I've been doing that with uh, some packing tape lately so I needed more and in the health and beauty aisle I got the spa scriptions the anti-aging gel face mask this one is with grapefruit and collagen and there's a mask applicator which is this nice silicone brush these are sold for four dollars and I think that's a good price because you get five ounces and I know that in a major drugstore department store uh, something similar is more much more than four dollars I also got the facial cleansing power brush by global beauty care it says there's a medium brush head um, it's powered by batteries which are probably not included it deep clean skin from dirt oil and makeup in seconds gently exfoliates blah 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 so I thought uh, I owe it to myself to do a little self-care and uh, for four dollars I thought that was a really great deal uh, and I want to try this now for fun and giggles and um, just because we like to give my husband challenges cooking challenges on the weekend I saw this meatball stuffer it is by Cobble Creek it is two dollars and fifty cents and essentially it's a plastic contraption that enables you to make stuffed meatballs. Now of course this is probably a very useless item that'll just take up space in a cupboard, but I thought it might be fun uh, to give this to my husband because we were making some jokes about making meatballs the other day and when I saw this I thought of that and I just thought it would be quite funny to uh, see his reaction when I gave him this so uh, this is costing me two dollars and fifty cents for a few giggles and that is it that's it for my uh, crafty Dollarama haul uh, minus the uh, car stuff and the candy <laughs> so I hope you uh, are inspired to do some crafting and maybe some organizing and storage of stamps like I've been doing and uh yeah until next time uh take care of yourself and stay crafty don't forget to subscribe like comment share and as I said stay crafty thanks for watching bye